Hey, this is Al McGee with yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called The Unthinkable. Ooh, let's say this. Now, you in your own town, you live, well, this takes place in Sweden, Copenhagen, but it has effects on the whole country, but this takes place in your own, your hometown. You're back in town because your mother died, you're at your funeral, Oh, but you see an old girlfriend. In fact, the only girl you really were ever interested in from school, but now you are accomplished pianist. You're very popular. You're making some cash. People know you all over the country, all over Europe. And you're in town, your mother died, but your father lives there and you don't want to talk to him because he treated you badly a few times. Well, I'm talking about Alex. Alex is the guy who in this uh, story, which is played by Christopher Northern Rock, and he has some issues of his own. Now, the unthinkable is about this country, Sweden, and what's happened to them. Man, it is unthinkable. For example, when Alex was back in town, well, people started acting funny and people started dying. Then there were explosions and things like that. Now his father, his father was uh, a, a guy who worked at the power plant, the electrical power plant, but you know, he dealt with conspiracy theories and things like that. And he, well, was in the power plant when all these things started to happen. But he and Alex did not want to communicate with each other and they haven't communicated with each other in a long time. But Anna, man, she, whew, she still had thoughts and feelings for Alex. Now, Anna, she stayed in her town. She stayed home. In fact, she has a child. And she's really not married. She has a boyfriend. And she still has feelings for Alex. But all of a sudden, everything explodes. Things starts to go on. And this film, The Unthinkable, which is directed by not one, not two, maybe three or four directors called Crazy Pictures. And this is a, about four or five group of guys or people who created this uh, film company. And they put this together. And when you look on the director for this film, you're going to see crazy picture, pictures. And that's them. They directed this film. So they didn't put one name on the film, but they did put the name on the actors and things like that. And one thing I liked about this film, too, I was totally surprised about what happened and also who it happened to. But who did it? This is what was surprised me about who really did this to this country, Sweden. And I love this about this country, Sweden. Now, this all, all of this takes place during their midsummer holiday. Midsummer holiday. Man, I wish we had some of those midsummer holidays. And people woke up on that midsummer holiday, had no television, no internet, no TV anything like that. Well, if I woke up and something like that happened to me, I'd be in a state of shock myself because I paid the bills and they should be on. <laughs> and the people in this particular town or small city that they live in, they were shocked too of what was going on. But you as a viewer will be shocked of what happened while you're watching this film. This is why I really enjoyed this film, The Unthinkable. A lot did happen that I did not expect to happen. I really didn't. I thought this was going to be some, uh, some little Swedish sweet thing. No, not at all. This is a very good, well-crafted film. And I'm going to give this four palm trees out of four because it was unexpected. The Unthinkable is a film that I truly enjoyed, and you will too. Now, it would be only in theaters 
but I believe you can get it on VOD also. But check around and see, because you got to see this film, The Unthinkable. I really enjoyed it. So what matters most is this. You see this film. Hey, and thanks for watching my review for The Unthinkable. I'm Al McGee, and you know what? Thanks for watching me, and I really appreciate it that you do. Yeah.